was really interesting, don't you think? Touch this book, you ignorant witch! This fount of wisdom, along with the spells inside, belongs to the Moon Elves. So, you learn your lesson. I'll have to deprive you of your magic powers. You'll have a chance to get your powers back, but only if you're honest and transparent with everyone.
Ursula? Is that you? Now I can finally get even with you, foolish witch. With you dead, no one will ever have to suffer from forbidden magic again. Ah! Hey, stop. Oh, darn bandits have been going wild lately. Where are the guards when people need them the most? I'll come back for you, Glissando. Don't you doubt it. Wait, I recognize you, Ursula. I doubt I can trust you after what you did to my brother. But you helped us in the end. So I suppose I can return the favor. Good thing I had some business in town today. God knows what that mouth breather would have done to you if I hadn't shown up. Why are you so upset? Come on, you can tell me. I can't help but doubt that, Ursula. You look a bit off. And how did you lose your magic powers? I see. Thank you for being so open with me. Well, what do you say we drown our sorrow somewhere? And who knows, maybe you'll run into someone who can help you get your powers back. There is a secret tavern called the Drunken Dragon, not so far from here. It's purely for magic creatures. Oh, and rumor has it, they serve the finest ale in the whole kingdom. Unfortunately, everyone who wants to enter needs to prove they're magical somehow. The bouncers aren't going to take our word for it. I'm, um... On a wanted list, so they definitely won't let me in. And with your magic powers out of commission, it looks like we're going to face some difficulties getting inside. Welcome to the Drunken Dragon. We look forward to serving both regulars and first-timers. You probably know about what happened in Trondheim, don't you? Well, our King Silas made an agreement with Elion, and now all of a sudden he's Elion's loyal vassal. Being scared for their lives, magic creatures are leaving the forest in a panic. Bandits are running wild. It's not even safe to go outside anymore. The guards couldn't care less about the townspeople. They're all too busy trying to claim the bounties for the Trondheim princes. Oh, but how came you to be here? Were you just trying to save your lives running from the forest? Oh, poor thing. Sit down, relax, and have a glass of our signature dragon ale. It's extremely refreshing. Bernard, is that the weird man who travels all over the kingdoms buying useless stuff? He holds auctions at our taverns, but I've never been to one. I have better things to do, frankly. But you could always ask somebody if they know anything. 
Well, it's been nice chatting, but I've got to go. Duty calls. Hi, I'm Turvenir. Have you heard of a game called Kalis? Play a hand with me, and I'll tell you something interesting. Wait, several of the cards are missing. Would you mind helping me find them? did great, especially for a beginner. Thank you for keeping me company. You're looking for Bernard, aren't you? I know that magic junk collector. He used to buy stuff from all over the kingdoms. But ever since people started getting arrested for having anything to do with magic, Bernard set up a clandestine auction market here, in the tavern. He wants to get rid of all of his magic stuff, just in case. I have an auction pass, but I don't feel like going. I believe you are the one who needs it most. Here, now it's yours. You'll need a special type of auction currency if you are inclined to buy something there. It's called Learn. I would consider getting some. And last thing, I promise. Why are you so eager to find Bernard? Please do satisfy my curiosity. Sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. Welcome! Unfortunately, the auction has just ended. Look, this mirror is the only valuable thing I have left. Other than that, you can take this junk for free. No one wants to buy it anyway. So if you make up your mind about this mirror, don't hesitate to approach me. I'll be right here.
I knew you'd be back to buy the mirror. This thing has some magic to it. I even saw a woman's silhouette in it. Well, you won't regret buying it. Here, now it's yours. Goodbye. trying to watch you get your powers back. Do you really think I will hand them over to you on a silver plate? Oh, you're spectacularly naive. Farewell! She has quite the temper. Look, something's written on the shards. We should glue all the pieces together and see if we can make out what it's saying. Maybe it's important. And here, take this. I found it while I... 
Uh, it doesn't matter. I hope it'll come in handy.
Dragonberg Mountain. Well, now you know the name of your destination. Unfortunately, I can't accompany you this time. I need to catch up with my brother, who just arrived in town. I believe we're even now, aren't we? I asked Tervenir to help you search for the mirror, but he wasn't sure he could make it. So he asked that you come and talk to him about it face to face. All right, I shall be going. Good luck. Unfortunately, the way is sealed. Legend has it that Moon Elves inhabited that place, so they're the only ones who can break the seal and enter. Luckily for us, I'm an elf myself, so I can remove the seal, but I'll need your help in preparing for the ritual. Please find an herb called Cyclamen. It's a yellow plant. You can't miss it. I'll stay here and prepare for the ritual. This is a secret place where Moon Elves used to mine pink quartz, also known as Tourmaline. There must be a secret room somewhere, a place where they made those mirrors for Callisto. We need to find it. 
My father worked in a mine similar to this one. That's why I know a thing or two about such places. Well, judging by your persistence, you must really need this mirror. And a long time ago, someone I loved died because she lost her magical powers. She was attacked and couldn't defend herself. Even all these years later, I think about her all the time and I, I still wonder if there was anything I could have done to save her. Maybe if I can do for you what I failed to do for her, maybe that would be some kind of redemption. I don't know. Um, so, there's a secret room in the mine with a vast collection of manuscripts, all filled with secret knowledge on dragons. If you want to find out what happened to Wobble Dragons, and where they went to, I think I could open the passageway for you. So, what do you say? I guess you're right. Maybe another time. Yeah, it's been ages since any Moon Elves have been here.
it's you. How did you manage to find me? I hate to break it to you, but you came all this way for nothing. You won't be able to find the real me. Don't even try. She's toying with us. The only way we'll be able to figure out which one is the real Callisto is if we can find the Mirror of Truth. I'm pretty sure it's a hand mirror, but we'd better hurry. That woman could easily bewitch us through a mirror. Then we'd be doomed.
Well, I'm impressed. I'll grant you a chance to get your powers back, but first, you have to prove you're worthy. You see, I can't just give your powers back, but I can take them from that elf, for instance, and give them to you. He's unworthy anyway. Of course, I could also leave the poor man alone, but in that case, he won't be able to do magic ever again. So what do you choose, Ursula? <laughs> I knew I saw it in you. That darkness filling your soul. The soul of a true witch. It was meant to be this way. All of the decisions you made, each action you took, has led you to this moment, to this exact outcome. Your powers have been returned to you. Do what you will with them.